Gotta take a little swig good before we start the video because you gotta need some swig good. Not gonna show label because not want to get a copyright claim. Intro. So if you're reading the title of this video, you're probably concerned. I'm gonna go all prequel on you. I'm not. I'm not here to say that the prequels are better than the originals. I don't think the prequels are better than the original trilogy. I don't. I think the original trilogy is original and is the best one for a reason. However, I think the prequels get a lot more hate than they probably deserve. I grew up with these, so they do kind of have a special place in my heart, and I may be a little too soft on them for that reason alone. I wasn't a purist growing up, you know, I didn't have the original trilogy, I didn't see them in theaters, and I honestly, I think I watched episode 3, I think it was my very first Star Wars movie I ever watched. So I have a little bit of a soft spot for them, however, watching the prequels and then watching the original, I can tell which one's better, but that doesn't mean that the prequels are bad. For starters, they have some of the best antagonists in the Star Wars universe. Um, with Darth Maul and Chancellor Palpatine slash the Emperor. Darth Maul is a cultural icon at this point, even though he's only in one movie. But I always thought it was interesting to see the Emperor's transition into power. Because that's something you don't get with episode 5 and 6. Say what you will, and yell at me in the comment section if you wanna. I like the politics. I think in episode 1 they're a little too in your face with trying to push the political story, especially since that was kind of advertised as a kid movie. The politics to me, I like seeing that transformation of a corrupt government. Um, it was cool to see in the original trilogy, you know what the Empire is, but your kind of thought is that they're just a space shuttle in, a, in the sky. You don't really know how far they span out. How far the Republic is spread out across the galaxy and the Republic just became the Empire. Empire is pretty big. I mean, it's pretty crisp. Now, there are a lot of things I would change in the prequels, obviously. I think Count Dooku's cool, and I like his curved lightsaber. But other than that, I mean, he doesn't really add anything to the story. In episode two, he's just kind of there, and in episode three, he's in it for two minutes. Maybe he's there to show you that he Darth Vader isn't the first Jedi to cross over from the light to the evil side? Wouldn't that just make Darth Vader's transition a little bit less meaningful? And then General Grievous, I love him. I love him to death. Make him a bigger part of Episode 3, or don't make him in Episode 3 at all, because he does nothing. He's awesome in the Clone Wars show, but in the movie, what does he do? If they had kept the scene where he kills Shock T, okay, you have a villain here who isn't afraid to, you know, crack some skulls but other than that he doesn't really do anything and the script of course I don't blame Hayden Christensen at all um, maybe I should a little bit but with the script that he was given that would make any good actor look horrible now the prequels also have a lot of redeeming qualities that I wish they showed more of I wish there was a little bit more politics in a more interesting way not so much the way that they gave us I wish there was more Jedi I wish more Jedi had more interactions. Different species Jedi had more interactions other than just the human ones, basically. You know, maybe see Kit Fisto have some interactions with Anakin. I think that would have been cool. Plo Koon. I mean, some of those guys like that, and of course I'm just saying those too because they're my favorite, but they're also the best. So, you want me. This is a video about why the prequels are good. You want logic? I can't give you that. I'm gonna curse here, so be warned, the prequels have damn good music. I mean, it is good. It was super cool to kind of see the transition from Anakin to Darth Vader. And I think if you want to, that's one part of the Clone Wars TV show, that if you want that full transformation, you get it in the Clone Wars. In the movies, it's episode two, he kind of is told no a couple times, and then in episode three, he's just kind of like that he's pure evil but I get it if I had to rank them the prequels it's episode 3 is definitely it's high up on my Star Wars list already episode 1 is probably next and then episode 2 to me even though this is a video promoting the prequels and saying that they're good 
I think episode 2 is a bad movie. I think the scene at the end with all the Jedi is awesome. But I mean, other than that, what does it bring? You don't need Jango Fett's intro. You don't... I like the mystery behind Boba Fett. Mr. Yep. You don't need Jango Fett in that movie. You don't need Count Dooku in that movie. You don't need the romance between Anakin and Padme. I mean, you need it, but you don't need it to be as forced as it was, because he was kind of a creep in that movie. But guys, that is why I think the prequels are good. I never said they're better than the original. I want to restate that. I will give you all this, and you can hate me all day if you want. I think the prequels are better than this new trilogy that we're getting. But guys, hit us up in the comments section below. Uh, tell me your thoughts on the prequels. I know it's going to be a bunch of hate, but they're good. I promise you, go watch them again. They're a lot better than you remember. Episode 3 is darn good. I love it so much. Guys, go follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, go check out our Patreon account. All of those links are in the description below. Y'all have a great day, and we will see y'all next time.